Okay, guys. Um, I'm just going to test something out so you might get a little reverb. I'm just seeing if the sound's coming through our speakers, which it is. All right. Uh, anyways, uh, let me know if the, the sound's back up for some of you or if some of you are still having a sound problem. We'll see, see what's uh, happening. Um, looks like the sound gremlins got us today. <laughs> uh, but that's, that just is just one of the things about uh, the, the job and trying to bring out uh, a live wildlife uh, <coughs> excuse me, television station uh, broadcasted live 24 hours a day from the bush. But it's one of the great challenges. Uh, <laughs> looks like some people like the, the <laughs> reverbs or the, the echo sound um, because, yeah, what I was doing is I was just turning up the, the speaker here. Uh, so if, if I had the speaker up and the microphone, it would kind of pick each other up and give a little bit of a reverb or or um, a little bit of a tin can, can sound feeling, as some people have described it. Uh, so I just had to turn it up because it sounded like some of you had uh, sound problems or looked like some of you had sound problems from what I read. So hopefully it's getting better. Uh, but yeah, I want to welcome you to WeChat. Uh, for any new viewers out there, this is the opportunity for you to ask us uh, some questions. And if you want to ask us questions, feel free to do so by logging on to the chat room. Go to we sh uh, under the WeSocial Social Network, go to We Shows, and go to WeChat, and feel free to ask questions in there. And um, yeah, and ch also chat along with uh, some of the other viewers. It's always great to be in the chat room. Or if you want to send them to email, our email account is finalcontrol at wildearth.tv. And yeah, so just if you have any questions or comments, feel free to send them in. And yeah, just to show you again, yeah, we're here at uh, Wild Earth TV in the Sabi Sands area of South Africa in the actual Juma Game Reserve. And this here is the... Gary Watering Hole, and we do have uh, two cameras. This is camera two, and this is camera one. Uh, so, so yeah, this is a watering hole that's right outside of uh, Utella, one of the lodges here, and they do kind of pump water in it to keep keep it no, the water, keep it as a active watering hole for the animals to come out and drink, um, as well as to hopefully that, that some of their visitors can see it. And it's always great because there is a lot of animals that come out throughout the day. You never know what's going to show up, as well as throughout the night. <laughs> okay, and it's just uh, commenting, is just wondering about the, the squeaky... Uh, sound on the, the the drive sound like a squeaky shoe or someone chewing on the inner tube. Um, yeah, that's actually our our seat on the the Jiga it tends to squeak a little bit. It's actually a homemade uh, chair where we have uh, on the center kind of uh, uh, a mast or tripod if you if you want of of the vehicle. We, up there we have a head for our tripod or a uh, tripod head for our camera that's our kind of steady shot and then attached to to the the base of it we have uh two uh steel kind of square uh posts coming out and then from that we created a seat out of uh wood and various other cushions and so yeah that tends to squeak a little bit so um, we'll try to uh tweak the audio a little bit maybe turn down the camera microphone just a little bit to hopefully eliminate some of that but uh that's kind of how it is all right All right, and just uh, hello, everybody. And I guess uh, I don't know if Mike and the kids is just kind of uh, transcribing what I'm saying in case anybody has audio problems, but uh, thank you for that. And we'll just have to see if anybody else uh, pops into the chat when the, the guys get back to let everybody know that you've been, uh, that you were testing out a new uh, system for the, the walk. Well, not necessarily new, but a new idea to hopefully get a better range and better picture quality. To where, unfortunately, today we had audio problems, so we weren't able to broadcast the the, the, the walk live. And afterwards, the uh, worked on the video just to test it, and it looks like it was doing well. And so when they come back, we're going to uh, put our minds together to try and figure out the audio and then figure out what we're going to do, because it looked like it all went well. Um... Yeah, if you're talking about the the drive that was earlier this morning at uh, 6 a.m. Central African time here, um, Peter's actually behind the camera, and uh, so that 
so the the camera mic doesn't really pick up the the voice from behind it too, too well. So that's that's why Peter was a little bit quiet. And um, Rexon sometimes is, uh, speaks a little soft, um, so it can be hard. But we do try to monitor the, the sound uh, both here in the final control and as well uh, on the vehicle. Um, for the, Mike is just wondering about the GPS connection, um, if he's wondering if it runs off the internet or the, the satellite system. Um, I'll have to ask, uh, Pete about that. Um, as far as I know, it should still work even if our internet was down, but, uh, they might not have had it, uh, uh turned on, but of course, uh, our internet was down here, so I wasn't able to, to check it or hear any, uh, question, uh, any comments about that, but, uh, the internet's back up and running now, uh, well, obviously, as we're chatting here and getting questions. But, yeah, well, for this afternoon's game drive, we'll make sure that it's it's on. Or wish that is a, a fascinating uh, feature. It's great to kind of watch, and you guys can see exactly where we are, um, which is kind of a fun. And let me just uh, check the email to see if any questions have come in. No, so looking pretty quiet. And uh, once again, I'll just, just show you that it's also quiet at the watering hole. Not not too much going on. <laughs> uh, it's where, uh, yeah, the, the the GPS is actually on the the Jiga itself. So, so yeah, <laughs> it's just uh, sometimes we just have to remember to turn it on. It's a, a new feature here, so <laughs> we were so used to uh, our, our routine of getting everything else set up, and oh, now it has become a little bit more of our, our routine to, to turn on the GPS, and so hopefully from now on we'll remember to. Um, also with it, sometimes it does, uh, it will take a little bit of a time for, for it to actually acquire satellites and be able to transmit, so at the start of some drives it might take it... Uh, a few minutes before it kicks on, so uh, please just uh, try and refrain from uh, sending us, letting us know that the GPS isn't on, or asking us if the GPS is on, because the the other day that that happened, where it took about 10-15 minutes for the the GPS to acquire satellites, and then it was uh, up and running because they did turn it on b before we went on out. I guess uh, for the, some of the new viewers, we've been getting some new viewers uh, quite f uh, regularly, which is always great. Uh, it's just always great to have our community and family grow and grow, and hopefully it keeps on on growing. So uh, this is the, the final control, and my name is uh, Simon Diltz, and this is kind of where some of the a little bit of the magic happens. This is where we can uh, where everything from the vehicle kind of com comes in here, and then we choose and kind of direct. This, the person in here is sort of the director that we look, keep our eyes out on uh, two monitors that are right up here, um, which uh, one is for each of the, the two cams at the watering hole, as well as we have a third monitor where we can see the final control or the, the game drive, and just keep our eyes on it and switch back and forth to where right here is our mixing desk, and underneath it is our switching board to where we can switch back and forth. Then this is where I'm going back from uh, camera one, and, or actually camera two as it's listed on our controls, and uh, camera one here, so back and forth, and that's where it is. And then these are the computers that uh, kind of stream out to you guys. So they come through here and go through these computers and out to you. And this one on the end is just a little bit of a kind of spare computer, if you will, uh, a way to check email. Excuse me a second. <coughs> All right, just a little bit of dry today. Um, but uh, yeah, that's this one where some of us can check email, um, talk on uh, Skype if there's any problems. And yeah, just, that's where I am uh, throughout part of the day if I'm not helping to uh, fix something or working on something else. I'm usually on there throughout the day uh, chatting. So yeah, once again, if you do have any questions, uh, feel free to send them in to Final Control at Wild Earth TV or um, in the chat room where it seems like uh, people are quiet or I might just have to refresh and make sure the internet's working. Uh, in the meantime, we'll go back to the watering hole.